chapter 85 through chapter 90 the second dream slash vision of enoch the history of the world to the founding of the messianic kingdom chapter 85 and after this i saw another dream and i will show the whole dream to thee my son and enoch lifted up his voice and spake to his son methuselah to thee my son will i speak hear my words incline thine ear to the dream slash vision of thy father before i took thy mother edna i saw in a vision on my bed and behold a bull came forth from the earth and that bull was white and after it came forth a heifer and along with this latter came forth two bulls one of them black and the other red and that black bull gored the red one and pursued him over the earth and thereupon i could no longer see that red bull but that black bull grew and that heifer went with him and i saw that many oxen proceeded from him which resembled and followed him and that cow that first one went from the presence of that first bull in order to seek that red one but found him not and lamented with a great lamentation over him and sought him and i looked till that first bull came to her and quieted her and from that time onward she cried no more and after that she bore another white bull and after him she bore many bulls and black cows and i saw in my sleep that white bull likewise grow and become a great white bull and from him proceeded many white bulls and they resembled him and they began to beget many white bulls which resembled them one following the other even many chapter eighty six the fall of the angels and the demoralization of mankind chapter eighty six and again i saw with mine eyes as i slept and i saw the heaven above and behold a star fell from heaven and it arose and ate and pastured amongst those oxen and after that i saw the large and the black oxen and behold they all changed their stalls and pastures and their cattle and began to live with each other and again i saw in the vision and looked towards the heaven and behold i saw many stars descend and cast themselves down from heaven to that first star and they became bulls amongst those cattle and pastured with them amongst them and i looked at them and saw and behold they all let out their privy members like horses and began to cover the cows of the oxen and they all became pregnant and bare elephants camels and asses and all the oxen feared them and were affrighted at them and began to bite with their teeth and to devour and to gore with their horns and they began moreover to devour those oxen and behold all the children of the earth began to tremble and quake before them and to flee from them chapter eighty seven the advent of the seven archangels chapter eighty seven and again i saw how they began to gore each other and to devour each other and the earth began to cry aloud and i raised mine eyes again to heaven and i saw in the vision and behold there came forth from heaven beings who were like white men and four went forth from that place and three with them and those three that had last come forth grasped me by my hand and took me up away from the generations of the earth and raised me up to a lofty place and showed me a tower raised high above the earth and all the hills were lower and one said unto me remain here till thou seest everything that befalls those elephants camels and asses and the stars and the oxen and all of them chapter eighty eight the punishment of the fallen angels by the archangels chapter eighty eight and i saw one of those four who had come forth first and he seized that first star which had fallen from the heaven and bound it hand and foot and cast it into an abyss now that abyss was narrow and deep and horrible and dark and one of them drew a sword and gave it to those elephants and camels and asses then they began to smite each other and the whole earth quaked because of them and as i was beholding the vision lo one of those four who had come forth stoned them from heaven and gathered and took all the great stars whose privy members were like those of horses and bound them all hand and foot and cast them in an abyss of the earth 